Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and a very Merry Christmas and I hope that everybody has had a great Christmas day. Obviously Christmas is now done for another year and we're all left full, overstuffed with food and hopefully like me with a little pile of some new fishing stuff. And that leads me on to this seasonal video that we do every year that sort of has become a little bit of a tradition really. Um, is what did I get for Christmas? Now, if, 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 you be, if you remember to last year, we had a lot of predatory gear and big nets and all sorts of stuff like that around piking. Um, but this year is more commercial. Now, as you all know, I've changed majority of my stuff to map stuff and like I do once a year, um, move the brand along. Now, in front of me, your beady eyes may be zooming to the back and seeing that a lot of this is Preston gear. No, this does not mean I am changing back to Preston anytime soon, at least for a year anyway. So, this is almost tarty in its thought process in regards to it's blue, so it sort of goes with what I'm doing. But not only that, it's Preston is solid gear and there's some, a new couple of quirky things that they've done and they've brought out that you know we just thought why not let, let, let's you know let's get them and have a go so we'll go into it and I'm going to start with some gloves first now last year we did get some fox gloves uh, for walking around with the predatory ones um, and they're great if you just you know cast in um, a little jig or a, a, a plug or anything like that um, lure fishing because you, you, you're constantly casting and it's got enough dexterity that you can, you know, press and hold and touch the line and things like that that you need to do without having your fingers on show. But when you're commercial fishing, you do need your fingertips and your three fingers and your hands do get cold. So I'm going to get, I've got these near pre-mint. I saw a Glim with them last year. I've seen other people with them and I thought, you know what? Might as well just ask for them as a little stocking filler from my mum and dad. Um, and that's what I've done. They're going to keep my hands warm. They're going to be, I would have thought, quite very waterproof to be fair. Um, and, you know, it's just something that I've added to the old list and I'm going to keep it with me stuff so I don't lose them like I do with everything else. Um, they have the three fingers which you use for mainly your dexterity. On the backs, they've got a little bit of Velcro and you can just fold over the tips of the fingers like so, like that. Nice and simple. And then that exposes those three fingers on both fingers, of course. And that allows you to have the dexterity to tie a hook link, um, put a new bait on, all that casting, all that kind of stuff that you would need those three fingers to do. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a nice little addition to the party. And um, these uh, sizes are small, medium. Um, if anybody's wondering, they do them large, extra large, do all sorts of sizes. So I'm gonna stick that one there. I'm going to keep the sort of bigger stuff till the end. I'm just going to go through the littler stuff. Now, these uh, are hookups. And again, I, I mentioned them to my mum and dad. It's just a little stocking filler and they bought, bought me a few packs of them. Now, these are only a couple of quid. And what they are, there's a slide on, the top, on your top kits. The larger one is towards the bottom of your top kit and the little one is towards the, you know, the, the, the nearer the top. And effectively, it's for when you fold down uh, your top kits, instead of, sorry, instead of folding down your top kits, when you've got your top kits extended all the time, um, that you can just hook on your rig and it just makes it easier. Now I've changed a lot of how I, how I store rigs. Now a lot of them are fishing the matches lately and especially the winter league where you're fishing repetitively the same venue and um, the rigs don't change too much, although I'll change the uplink every match the depths don't change and the way I fish it generally doesn't change for the silvers. So I keep the rigs on the top kit which stops kinking on a, on a on an actual winder as you would normally do. And I use, you know, and you can still do this, you don't have to buy these kind of things, um, just pieces of elastic, double tied knot and just slight roll them on. And it also use one so then when you do close it you can roll the t the the tip of the top kit so it nips the kit together as well. Now that's the cheapest most inexpensive way to do it because obviously you would have spare elastic when you're elasticating. These are just probably quite gimmicky but again the when you mum asked you for a stocking filler and it's, it's something I am I've never used you know I thought why not try it so that's what they are. Um, 
if you want to try him, I dare say there's a few people out there, there that probably swear by him. Um, you know, I'll, I'll let you know <laughs> what they're like. Um, the next one is um, some, we're going to say the word toss pots. It does actually say toss pots on there. Um, these are flexible. Um, and again, I go through a lot of different um, shaker pots, uh, various different brands. I've had pressed ones for a long, long time. I've got midi towel pots, which are great, and especially for paste and things. Um, and Matt Richardson, I will have a little look around. Matt Richardson pointed to these and said he, he uses them where they actually can stack the level up to see you know, whether you want a shallow feed in the winter or a taller feed in the summer. Um, and it comes with a couple of different um, shaker style tops where one's an open, one's sort of a three-way one where you can just shake them out in bits. Um, these are the medium variety matrix ones, about six quid. So not super cheap to be fair, um, but I suppose they are a bit more versatile and it saves you buying two, two different sizes. Um, and it's just something, again, we'll try uh, and see how we get on with. <clears throat> the reason I needed a couple more is because when you're setting a few kits, especially now getting more into match fishing, I don't want to be swapping pots around every two minutes, so it's easier to just have the pots already on there. So, Matrix 1's flexible. We'll see what they're like. Oh, throwing them about. Um, you know, hopefully they'll be good. Now, the next one, um, I've actually put on the angling view back to basics. So if you do want to see it in depth, then do look on the Angler Few Back to Basics um, YouTube channel. Um, and it's an Avid Retractor Toolkit. Now, I actually saw this out, I'm gonna give a big shout out actually to Big Bird on his fishing channel. Um, and he, he first, uh, I first seen him on there. And I thought, you know what, it's actually quite a good idea. So, what it is, is effectively a magnetic case. So four magnets there, they'll sit in your drawer, um, won't go anywhere. Um, and it's a magnetic top and it looks like a box full of perma markers, that little mini sharpies, and it does, does look like that. Each one of those is five different tools. So on the front of here, we've got a splicing needle, a, a gated needle, a hair needle, a, hair, a hard bait hair needle, and a bait drill. So now that our style of fishing is sort of sharing some similarities with uh, cart fishing, although in miniature, they're usually a lot smaller, um, you do get situations where you might use these tools and certainly uh, throughout the year I test baits and try things out that I don't normally use um, and these things are great. So you literally just slide them out and they're, they're on a thumb slide on the side and then it slides out the tool. How cool is that? So super, super easy um, and you know saves just carrying loads of different tools around. They're all in one case and Boom, it folds over. So I'm gonna leave that with there, and if you do wanna see the full review, go on to Angler Few Back to Basics and you can see it on there. Now, the next one is just a little rod rest, a, rod, a little butt, uh, butt rest for the, for the rod. It's a soft Preston one. Um, I've seen it a few times. I currently use the Matrix one, uh, which is on um, an adjustable bar, which is just a normal foam U-shaped one. Um, I've had a few little <clears throat> choice uh, Oh, poo moments um, when the, the old rod, luckily, because it's, it's attached on the front, it won't go anywhere, but it, it, you've had a, certainly um, a few shock moments um, where it just sort of pulls it a little bit. And I thought, you know what, this looks a little bit tighter. Um, why not try it? And again, it's blue. Very important. So that's what that is. So now we're going to move on to a little bit bigger kind of things. Um, what I'm going to do for, for two seconds, I'm just going to pause the camera because I'm woefully unprepared and I need to get some scissors to open a couple of ones so we can have a little look in detail. Right, and as if by magic we have a couple of prepared tools that I always had planned, but we'll leave them there for two seconds while we go on to the first one which I have pulled out. And it's another pole sock. It is a Guru one, and no it's not blue, it's orange. Um, but my brother was pushing me for what I would uh, like for Christmas and, and, and I do like, cause we give so many presents away and I do love watching the kids open more than I, I open myself. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna actually ask him physically for something to open up, even though I already knew what it was. Uh, so I've gone with this um, twin and I've seen positive and negative reviews on it actually. I've seen quite a few people say that it's the best thing they've ever had. And then I've seen a few people say that it's, it's too shallow and, and they don't hold in there. But what I've noticed lately is that mine do blow out, not blow out, oh, what's, the, what's the word? I've got the, sorry, I've got the single 
Matrix one at the moment, and it's great. I, I sold the two big ones because they were too big. Um, but obviously, double brake on the pot nearly every time we, we, we fish, so I needed a double one. But I didn't want two individual, so they were miles apart, because I want them close together. So that's where this came from. Um, and you know that, that that's just what it is. So I will I will use this. I, I think quite a lot. I have sort of mm, I have sort of shot myself in foot because I've ended up with two different types. But I think different situations, different days, different sessions, different lengths of pole may mean that I'll use this other tool depending on on which other. We'll go into it. There's a bit. It's a bit of a. Uh, Krypton factor kind of exploration, but there we go. So the Guru one, it's a twin, um, and I, I do like it. I think it looks really good. I, th I think it is deep enough, if I'm honest. Um, but if it's not, um, and we need something for even windier conditions, that'll move me on to my next little thing. So, so I'm sure quite a few have seen of it. It's it's been out oh, a few months now. Um, I'm gonna get the scissors on and just snip it out of. Uh, the uh, the bag now i've seen like joe carras and a few people talk about it um i've seen obviously with dead ship look at it got one more right in there in the middle not letting me tell you what they are fastened on tight those are that's for sure so uh, well actually we'll have a look at the pack first so it's a pole safe combo so as I saw on the Preston's one, the, you can get them both independently. Now for me, I would just get this one. I, I won't have them independent. The good thing first off, I'm gonna say, is that it's dual-sided, because if you looked at that straight away, that is not for me. I'm left-handed, that's a right-handed look. But they've been clever enough to think about the old lefties, and that, is what I would have for left-handed, and which means obviously it's still got the graphics on either side. It's got to have a seam somewhere, but it actually benefits the left-hander more because the, the actual mesh in there is on the left-handed side. And this one's, as you can see, a little bit deeper, well, a lot deeper um, than the Guru ones, um, by probably an inch and a half. Um, and it, it feels like solid stuff, but the bottom, which looks like our plastic, is not, it's, 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 a, soft, it's a soft rubber. You can, see, you can see there. You can almost pull that out. I reckon I could pull that out. I'm not going to do because I'll never get it back in. But it looks like you could pull it out. So I'm assuming if something did ever happen with this part, you could move that out. Um, and then we've got, again, the side to put the tip of the pole. Now, I, I'm always a bit dubious of this. I always think, oh, am I going to crush the end of the pole doing that? Well, we're only going to find out, aren't we? Because that's why we've got it. So that obviously, your pole section would go down and sit against here. The stretch it is quite enough, but it is quite stiff, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's only gonna be for a small amount of the, of the tip of the pole, so it won't matter too much, but we'll we'll have a look on the bank and see what's there. Now, on the ends, <clears throat> they've got a quick release system, so left or right, that mine is obviously gonna connect on this side, which will be the my left of the box. Or if you want to put it on a bank stick or on a screw tool, then there's the screw part available as well. Now I'm going to keep that piece of plastic on as long as I can keep it on, if I'm honest, because I don't I don't use it. And if I ever sell it, then it's got that on and there won't be a rusty screw underneath it. I'm just gonna put it down for two seconds because then I can show you um, the additional thing that we've got with it. So I'm gonna get the old scissors on it first. So we've got one of these keep net arms. Uh, that's, that's the additional. Um, and the, but realistically, the keep net arm is only, I've only got it for one thing, and it ain't for a keep net. So we've got it, so we can take, screw that up. Obviously that's gonna sit on the on the leg. Now, we're, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna be backwards because I'm left-handed, but it's got the keep net arm, it comes with the, obviously the square screw attachments, a bit like some of my Matrix ones. I won't need that because I'm not gonna stick it on the keep net, but I will keep it just in case I do get something that I do, I do need it for. I've got it purely, so then we can shove on that and then that attaches. Now, this brings me on to one point. That should come with that. I, I, I don't know, let's put your opinions down below. If I'm buying this, now, all right, I understand the argument that most 
people that buy this will probably be Preston orientated and will have some of these already. But if you're putting that something like this for generalized sale, that's quite a, a substantial unit that has availabilities for that locking system. This one doesn't, so it's just a pole sock, so I would expect it to be just a screw. This one has the attachment cyber end. I, I would expect it to come with that, I'll be honest. Put your comments below, and, and I'll explain that when I get to the next thing I'm gonna show you. But I would, expect, I would have expected that that would have come with that. That's just my opinion. Uh, and I'd have paid a little bit extra money for it um, if, if, I, if I were buying it myself, just to have the attachment part, because most people nowadays prefer snap lock systems and I'm, I'm no no other to that you know i think the, the brilliant the quick the easy these can stay on your on your box so this part of it does it comes obviously 36 mil comes in there there's a 30 mil attachment in that one along with a 28 mil and a square leg uh, as well and and that's a short keeping arm so if you are wondering what this is called it's a short keeping arm um but you don't have to use it as a keeping arm obviously like i said it comes with the inserted piece with a screw on it and that is if you're going to attach it to your keep net. So that's that. So moving on to the, the last of the accessories. This one is, though I have no idea what it's called, but I think it's like some form of pole rest. Um, I'll be honest, this again was just one of those, what do you want? This could come in handy at some point. If not, this part just, I don't know. And, and I thought, you know what, it, it's that kind of price range that your mates buy you. So I just said, I love that. So that's the uh, that's where that stemmed from. Um, it's it, it is got that. It's made out. It's not hard plastic. It's like a soft plastic, rubberized inside to keep your poles safe. Um, this could be just something simple for me that I've got sat down below when I when I fish in. I don't know, tw twelve and a half meters or 12, 11 and a half meters or thirty meters, and I've got a spare section that's big that's sat below. Um, I could have that in there, you know, like your 13 meter section, 14 and a half, 16 meter, that sat side here in case of an opu moment. Um, if fish and shell off a big carp at 13 meters and you need an extra section just in case. Or, or it could be to rest your landing net on, you know, there's all sorts of stuff that you could do with it. Um, but again, it comes with the snap lock and this is what I'm trying to say. So this tool comes with the snap lock. Now it should do that, that's what it should do. It's a, it's a tool that you need to put on your box. You're not going to buy that, are you? Most people. If you buy that and you haven't got a Preston um, at attachment, what are you going to do? You're going to have to buy a Preston attachment. If if I was an, an impartial, non-Preston person that had not got these, that would uh, that would push me off that, that particular product, having to buy them separately. So, note to Preston, if you're going to sell something like this, especially like this, do a non, a non with this option or do it with an option um, and just give yourself a little bit more availability. So, the last thing is, and if I haven't already bloody got enough, I have got another net. Um, this is a 16 inch hair mesh landing net. Now, again, it's not, it's not a um, EVA or, or rubberized material. It is just a normal standard net. And this is effectively for winter fishing, for silvers. Um, again, I'm short arms, That's, it's one reason. It's short arms, I've got rid of a lot of my other nets. Um, I wanted a really shallow net for when I'm fishing fried or silverfish that I can quickly reach in and just get the fish out and I'm not messing about reaching too deep for a smaller fish. And that's really why I got it. It's black, so it's universal with anything. Um, and that's why we got that. It's really ultra lightweight, actually. It's, it's super lightweight, um, which is what you want. So, ugh, moving on to the next bit. Now, this bad boy, I actually, there's another bit, and I ain't got another bit, and I was toying with whether I do film the film now or not. But I've gone with, yes, I'm gonna film it now. And the other part of it, I will get, and I'll do the setup of that on the box, and we can have a look. So, for ages, I've had people, I've had, I had the matrix side tray with the, like this, um, with my top kits, roost, and I used to just stand them on grass or bush or whatever were inside of me. And I got hammered. Hammered and hammered and hammered for it. Oh, you'll get mud in, your, in the tip of your pole. You da, 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 da. I've, never, I've never had a problem to this day. Although, 
I have wanted to lift them up sometimes when you haven't got the space uh, and, and the bunch together and sometimes the floats nip together and you have to mess about. This is gonna spread it out. Now on my box, I haven't got anything to attach it now having the new fish trays. So what I am getting is the same version of this but the tulips that sit on your box um, and it attaches on f f with a, a snap lock and that will be my box side and this will be standing up to, to put the other sides on it, it'll hold the rods, it'll hold everything. Now again, two reasons um, I went for Preston. One, I've used similar, I had the KitSafe and they had the KitSafe Pro over time. They were both great and both solid. So that was a big reason of why I went down the Preston route because I know it's a solid piece of kit. The other reason is it's blue, uh, which is proper tartish, but I don't really care. Um, and also if you sell things like this in the future, if you look after them like I do, again, you get a quality product that's strong, then you know, you're gonna get your money back. Um, and this, this one is the competition roost standard. And it is quite big. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve 10, 12 different holders. Um, I wanted something quite strong because if you're gonna put rods and things like that on it, um, then it's really important to do that. Extending legs, um, it, they do extend a, a really long way. Um, and yeah, they does give a lot of height with it and that's a really good thing to have on. Um, so the last thing I'm gonna do is show you this last one in the corner and I'm gonna zoom the camera out a little bit so I can stand up and you can see me. Right guys, hopefully you can see me a little bit there. I'm gonna come up close first and show you it. Now, this is not something I got on Christmas day. It's something that I got when I was at the members day at From Fishing Tackle and Bay. Now, and it was completely out of blue actually. I saw about four or five people wearing these coats when they came in and they were like, oh, they're so warm, they're so, so comfortable, so versatile, you can wear them just as an everyday coat. Um, and obviously I've got the two map coats which are fantastic, but I have been cold and that's up to me putting the layers on as well. Um, I ain't got the, the Celsius suit, I've got the sort of waterproof jackets. The, the, the trousers are really warm, but what I wanted to do is look at something to give me something that's just a bit, bit more heat. Um, so when I'm fishing uh, the Winter League, this is gonna come into its own. Um, I don't actually know the name of them, um, if I'm honest. It's just a quilted coat. I'll put the name on the screen now, um, just to give you a little bit of a hand on, on it. But it's a bit like wearing a sleeping bag, is what I can tell you. So the good thing is it's got a nice zip here on the chest, which is perfect for me because I can stick the microphone in it, which not for everybody else matters, but for me it does. It's got two uh, big zips on uh, for pockets, really strong um, uh, zips on that. Nice little, just subtle branding, Preston the innovations there, um, and same on the breast. Um, and again, a nice drawstring hood, um, and everything is quilted. It, it literally is like wearing a sleeping bag. That, that's what I can explain. So, for me, I'm not, I'm not that fat yet. Um, I, I do wear a large. I did get an extra large, which as you can see, is massive. And the reason I did that is so I can put more layers underneath it. Um, which is the only reason, so be nice in the comments. Um, I am on weightloss.com uh, because um, I do look at myself sometimes and think, oh dear, but don't we all? So, as you can see, it is lovely, super soft. And like, like I say to you, it is, it, it is too big for me. But when I'm packing the layers under there, it's gonna keep me even more warm, so I'm all buzzing with that. Um, yeah, really comfortable. <laughs> completely waterproof nice hood like I said I'm not gonna fasten it up because of the microphone um, obviously the, once it's zipped up to your chin you can pull in this and you're sort of in uh, winter mode and the good thing like I was saying is the microphone uh, it's receiver will fit here and the microphone for me is so great for filming so if you are a youtuber and you do do some filming out in the winter leagues this would be a good coat for you um, so there's one for that these are around 65 quid I think Something like that, so not super expensive, but not cheap either. Um, and oh, there's actually one on the back as well to pull the, the back part of the head in it. Um, yeah, like I said, not, not, not outrageously expensive, but also not, not, not super cheap either. But if you consider that a lot of the other coats that you get, 
um, are like 100 quid, 110 quid, then, you know, 65 is not too bad, really. I'm near enough half a price. Um, so there we go. That is my Christmas haul. Now, do feel free to add any comments to anything you've seen on here or opinions, depending on... Um, Put, put them as PG please, remember a uh, family friendly group and all that um, and do put your opinions about things like this um, and, and, uh, and regarding the attachments also please put things about what you've got for Christmas it's always good to hear what everybody else has, has picked up for Christmas and what interesting things you've all got um, yeah I think it's been a nice year um, this year for for, for stuff I've got picked up those little few bits that you you maybe want to pick up along the line yourself that you've noticed when you're fishing um, and a few other things to try so yeah really 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 good um, little haul this year so we've got the New Year's Eve video coming soon well, we'll, we'll it'll be on New Year's Day it'll be the roundup of 2021 I can't believe I'm saying the roundup of 21 how fast that has gone um, but yes, we're going to do a little roundup as we always do. Me and Matt have done a little in and out to talk about our favourite things about the year, things that we've got coming up, and also the customary playthrough of a few of the video clips throughout the year. Now, it's been a fantastic year for support. Um, you know, we've grown really well this year. Um, I think we started this year around 6,000 subscribers, 7,000 subscribers, and now we're up to 11 and 11.2 something which is absolutely phenomenal um, and that's down to you fantastic people watching our videos and also the the members group as well um, we started around 6k um, uh, members on the on the Facebook group and that's over 8,000 now as well so again a lovely steady um, gradual uh, sort of boost up on that as well and <clears throat> we're all about getting quality people that want to be involved and want to Start. and that's why we've you know we do the things that we do and that's why the channel will remain unbiased and you know for the member you know and it's all about having that interaction um it's just superb and you know you've been fantastic so if you do want to join us on the facebook group then hop along it's a family friendly um, atmosphere with no banter there's always prize giveaways and things on there and lots of interaction from members and myself and matt and if you want to join onto the instagram look at the photos and see what see what we're doing on there then it's angling underscore for you if you want to go onto the uh, playlists then there's lots of videos on there around matches back to basics uh, feature videos which are oh, the feature videos are always around learning new methods and new venues um, and then there's also lots of other um, unboxing and reviews on there so that would be amazing if you could check that out if you could like share and subscribe even better and share with your friends and until the next one guys thank you very much have a great new year tight lines Thank you.